Hola and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. Today's video is jam packed with like so many different things. First of all, it's probably going to be over a two day period. I need to like go to Lowe's, I need to go to Walmart and all of that in one day is just a lot, okay? Because people be people in, in the public. <laughs> the other thing I need to do is plant some flowers and do some cooking, a little bit of cleaning. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm Kim, K-Y-M. My video pertains to home life, all things home, what I'm doing, all that great stuff, right? If that is the type of content that you like and you're nosy like me, please hit that subscribe button and also show the like button some love as well. And let's get started with the day. Some of you had stated that you wanted to see my skincare routine, so I'm going to do that. I literally just stepped out of the shower. <laughs> First thing I do is put Vaseline on my lips. Vaseline's good for your lips, okay. Second thing I do is CeraVe. Let me give you a close up. Get you that moisturization that you need on your face. If you don't want wrinkles, it's all about the moisture. And when you put this on, you definitely want to do your neck as well. This is for your eyes. It's by Clinique. It's just basically, you know, moisture for your eye. Listen, you got to have moisture for your eyes, okay? Moisture for your face. So your eyes have the most thin skin on your face. So you definitely want to take care of your eyes. Let that soak in for a few min for a minute. Here's the next thing that I use. This is great for puffiness. Put this around your eyes gently like you did the moisturizer. I'm gonna show this is amazing. It's rose tip oil. You can use this like all over your hair, your skin, all of that great stuff. I use this for my face because it's amazing. It's amazing. What they tell you to do when you put this into your skincare routine is to put this on first. This is my facial moisturizer. So I'm supposed to put the rose hip oil on first and then the facial moisturizer, but I like to mix mine together and it just feels different for me. I'm not really sure what the difference is, but when I've done it the other way, my skin didn't feel like it did when I, you know, mixed them together. The other thing is you're not supposed to put the moisturizer under your eyes. Well, I put it all over, okay? Because the, moist, the more moisture that you have under your eyes, the less wrinkles you'll have. Last but not least, when I had 500 subscribers, I did giveaways for like a rose quartz roller and I have an extra one. So I use this. It's really pretty, first of all. Look how pretty it is. So this part is for your eye. This part is for the rest of your face. Oh, I got a little bit carried away. Okay, that's it. That's all I do for my skincare routine. So when you wash your face, wash it with whatever you want to wash it with. Nine times out of 10, I wash my face with Dove, but sometimes I do use the Clinique cleanser, but Dove, there's something about Dove and the moisture that it puts in your face. So I like to wash my face with that. Wash your face with whatever you want. You know, that's just how I do it with my skincare routine. And I think my face actually looks pretty good. Doesn't have too many wrinkles for my age. So there you go. <laughs> I wanna make some honey mustard chicken and some roasted potatoes. And I think I have some in here. Maybe, maybe not. I thought I did. Well, so much for that meal. What's crazy is I don't even remember anyone making the potatoes. There is a sweet potato. Let's get that. That looks so gross. That is just like the slime on the chicken, which is why you should clean your meats off. How's everyone doing today? Sorry, my voice sounds crazy. I won't be doing a lot of voiceovers because I lost my voice. Not sure how, why, or any of that stuff, but I think it's like the change in the weather or whatever. Anyway, let me know how you're doing below in the comments and what you've been working on. I've been really busy working, just trying to find my way around this insurance world. These memories that we've made I want to show you what I will be planting. 
So I'm going to plant these, but before I plant them, last year I just put them straight in the ground, which it completely did well. Um, but this year I'm going to go ahead and get them started in these cups with water. You will have to let me know below in the comments if you have ever started your seeds off in water. I know a lot of people made that comment to me last year when I just went ahead and put the seeds in the ground, but it works both ways. I mean, it really does. <laughs> no need to apologize. I also have some okra, but I think I'm just gonna get a pot to grow this. I'm very well aware that this looks dark, but let's talk about how disrespectful this bird was to just, you know, decide to do that on my door. <laughs> To all of my YouTube friends, I will definitely be by your videos this weekend to show support. Like I said, I've been working a lot just trying to find my way around this new job. So thanks for bearing with me. Here's what this is looking like. So I am going to add some homemade honey mustard sauce to it. What you will need for the honey mustard sauce is Dijon mustard, honey, regular yellow mustard, and a bowl, and a wisp. <laughs> I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. Also put some vanilla in here but it needs some brown sugar so I'm gonna add that. Okay it is so hot outside. Whew, I'm out of breath. Here is what my desk is looking like and it's gonna look like that for a minute because I actually have to do some work right now but yeah my room isn't like too bad so I'm gonna like straighten the room up and also my bathroom but right now I gotta work. Since the last time I spoke with you, have you been saying your affirmations? I hope you have. I personally went through about this week of just feeling incomplete, but I had to check myself. And my girl Tiffany from All Things Tiffany Nicole had to check me too, back into reality and to just get my mind together. So thanks, Tiffany. For me, affirmations are extremely important because sometimes my mind just automatically goes to the negative. We're humans and that's what happens. But at the end of the day, we have to have more power over that voice in our head. So be sure to say your affirmations because you are amazing. You are enough and you are worthy. You deserve all the love in the world. You deserve to be loved by yourself and others. Sometimes in life, you just have to sit down and clean because your girl was tired, okay? I got so much going on, plus this chronic fatigue be hitting different when you're working 12-hour days. So 
I did get a new, um, what do you call it, bath brush because mine was getting pretty old. Let's open it up. That was pretty simple to put together. And I will leave the link. I got this off Amazon. I'll leave the link below in the description box. I went to take that trash out and there was something else at my door. Oh. Essential oils, peppermint and lemon flavored, or yeah, flavored, yeah. <laughs> It's the next day and we arrived at Walmart as soon as they open because you already know, okay? You already know how Walmart is and <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> I'm looking for a brand new start. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I've played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. I'm gonna do a really, really quick haul on what we bought at the store. We have some freezer bags, wipes. These smell so good, those different flavors or fragrances, some toothpaste, some panty liners, some tampons, paper, because I needed some paper for work, along with some pins, tissues, and then liquid IV, vitamin D. We also have, what is that? Johnson's baby shampoo, yeah. Okay, alcohol, shampoo, LED lights, coffee, and that's it. Oh, some toilet paper, which is over there. So yeah, that's your really, really quick haul from Wally World. Fun fact about me, I really love going to Lowe's. Well, Lowe's is like literally in walking distance of my home and I like Home Depot, but I especially love Menards. Let me know below in the comments if you have a Menards in your area. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have an amazing week. And if you're new, please do not forget to hit subscribe and hit that like button. Show it some love so YouTube will know that people actually like watching my content. Have an amazing week.